I was watching a, a Jordan Peterson video recently and uh, it's very interesting. He talks about a unidimensional life versus a more generalized life. And unidimensional life is being super focused on just one thing. That's all the person cares about. They're striving for excellence in that. And the other one, a more generalized approach, is the person has various different interests. And while they may never achieve greatness or success, excellence in that area, they have potentially a happier life because they're not as invested in it. And it's generally more rewarding and fulfilling life, potentially. And I think it's a kind of a, a nuanced issue because you could look at the unidimensional, super focused life as being unhealthy or okay it'll lead to excellence potentially but unhealthy but I don't really think it's that simple because I have found in my experience that when I started to live more of a unidimensional life something important came in with that just being focused on one single thing something important happened my the rest of my life outside of that goal completely improved also which is kind of the opposite of what Jordan was talking about in from his experience. I found that this just being focused on one thing, at least consciously, made my relationships better, made my health better. And these are areas outside of the career focus thing that I had, right, in my instance. So it was not as simple as the unidimensional life is an unfulfilling life or a, a, an unrewarding life or a very yeah, unidimensional because I found it's not unidimensional. <laughs> and the reason for that is because, and Jordan, he talks about it I think probably elsewhere, but I'm just looking at this one video he, he talked about it in. But the reason for that is the nervous system. In my experience, human beings are incapable of holding several different goals in their, in their mind at once. I, don't th I think it's actually a myth that people have five areas in which they're... He talks about you can either have one area at 100% or five areas at 80%. And from my experience, five areas at 80% is it's undoable. Nobody can do that. From my experience, if a person is holding five different areas of their life in which they're trying to seek improvement in, it's going to be five not by 80%. It's going to be five by 15%. Okay, so it's going to be frustrating in that sense, because of the single fact that the human nervous system, it's susceptible to one thing more than anything else, and that is being overwhelmed. The unidimensional life, while it might seem like it's um, unfulfilling, it has one thing going for it that's not mentioned. It's simplicity. I just have to do one thing. Now, where do we get into trouble with this? The issue comes in with lack of boundaries with, with anything you're doing, whether it be five things or one thing. But let's just say, take an example of a person who is only focused on one thing, and that's what they're telling themselves. Now, I found that that person is very, very rare. I don't think it's necessarily the fact that some people are capable of doing this just because they have immense willpower or they're different to us somehow. I think it, the, the difference between what, how it works for those people is that they have clear boundaries. They have a boundary between, here's the real boundary, taking action or structured time versus completely unstructured time in my life, in which there are no rules and no to-dos. Okay, if you have a unidimensional approach, finding that part of your life is easier to come by. Okay, where there are no rules. Because even someone who is working insane hours at the top of their field, right? Jordan, he says it in the video, he says, you could be working 70 or 80 hours a week on this one thing. Now, how many waking hours do you have in a week? Well, if you take away that many hours, you're still going to have, you may even have 32 hours of your week of unstructured time. The problem is people who are unidimensional sometimes, at least what they tell themselves is, is that's what they are. In their time away from that thing they are not unstructured they bring in all sorts of additional have to do's into that time so really they are secretly the person with five goals although they're, they're telling themselves they're the universe the unidimensional person okay what i'm saying here in this video is humans are incapable of taking on multiple projects at once but 
if you can consciously just say to yourself, I'm just going to do one thing, focus on one thing and do it well, do it to the best of my ability. And after that, I'm going to have time in my day in my life in which there are no rules. And I still have preferences for things that I enjoy, family time, relationship time, exercise, fun, hobbies, etc. But I'm not going to be structured about how these things take place. The problem is when we try to put structures on things outside of this unidimensional goal we have because the human, the nervous system shuts down and procrastination is a huge problem. Now I know what Jordan is talking about to some degree in this video is well what do you value in life, where do you want to end up and things like that. And that's an important question but in terms of procrastination there's only one thing you need to worry about. This process of this, this, this phenomena of having something you want to do, not doing it, feeling guilty, overwhelmed, not seeing any results. And that is overwhelm. Never mind values, what you want to do with your life is, am I overwhelmed or not? And what will overwhelm us is not training ourselves to detach and set up clear boundaries with my day in terms of things I'm doing and, thing, and, and a period in my day when I'm not doing, when I have no rules. Rules, rules versus no rules is really the big debate here. And I don't see many people having this, okay? So this is a kind of, for me, it's a false dichotomy of person with unidimensional life versus a more generalized person. I don't think there is anyone who is unidimensional and they're very rare. And if they are, they're usually th this other person with five goals in disguise, okay? Are you capable of having one goal and then saying whatever happens after that, I'm open to? Or do you have to control every single aspect of your life, including your, your free time, your unstructured free time? I found I got way more done when I was unidimensional in that one goal and the rest of my life improved hugely. As long as I was able to be strict with the goal and have unstructured free play time in which I could do anything, anything. If a family member came to me and talked, I didn't have any to-do lists. I just sat down and talked. I was present with them right if i felt like exercising i would exercise but there was no have to's there was no structure on it because that would overwhelm the nervous system this is what i tell my clients to do this is a training in which you have you learn how to have clear boundaries you can be unidimensional but if you can switch off and have no to do's outside of that there's really like it, it's a, it's it's actually possible to have a very full life being this unidimensional person that Jordan is talking about. Even with 80 hours a week, you still have 30, 32 hours a week of waking time in which you can engage with the rest of your life. So that's excellence and plenty of time, but can you switch off? Can you let go of control outside of your one goal? Sure, have preferences. Sure, be open to things happening, but can you let go of control? That's the issue. Maybe that is a personality type. I don't think so. I think that's something that can be trained. And I think it's something with practice we get very good at. And it's immediate. doesn't take long. It's one of the things I talk about in my course. You can check that out. The uh, link is in the description. But um, I don't know what you think about this. Maybe I'm way off on this. Um, I think it is possible to have a, a full life being single-minded. And in fact, I think it's counter counterintuitive. I think you can have a more full life when you become unidimensional just because you're not fighting your nervous system anymore. There are my thoughts, guys. Hope that's interesting and helpful. And uh, take care of yourself. Talk to you next time.